Hello, welcome to PowerLearn Science and Maths TV. In this video, we are showing that cos theta plus sin theta is equal to square root of 1 plus sin 2 theta, given that cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1. Now, to do this, we are going to apply one of the properties of algebra, which states that a squared plus b squared is given as a plus b all squared minus 2ab. So let's confirm this property. If a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 2, we are going to get 1 squared plus 2 squared. And this gives us 1 plus 2 all squared minus 2 into bracket 1 times 2. You realize that this gives us 5. And this also gives us 5. Therefore, this law has been confirmed. So what we are going to do now is that we are going to reduce this expression cos square theta plus sine square theta using the property of algebra. So to do that, let's assume that A is equal to cos theta and B is equal to sine theta. So what is going to happen is that cos squared theta plus sine squared theta now gives us, that is applying the property of algebra, this gives us cos theta plus sine theta all squared minus 2 cos theta sine theta. But we've seen from the question that cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is 1. And therefore, this is giving us 1 is equal to cos, cos theta plus sine theta all squared minus 2 cos theta sine theta. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to relocate 2 cos theta sine theta to the right hand side. So this gives me 1 plus 2 cos theta sine theta is equal to cos theta plus sine theta all squared. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to interchange the positions. I want cos theta plus sine theta all squared to the left hand side and this to the right hand side. So I'm going to get cos theta plus sine theta squared is giving us 1 plus 2 cos theta sine theta. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to make what is in the bracket a subject. So I'm going to take square root of both sides. So this gives me square root of cos theta plus sine theta all squared. And this is equal to square root of 1 plus 2 cos theta sine theta. So this gives me cos theta plus sine theta is equal to square root of 1 plus 2 cos theta sine theta. Generally, one of the properties of trigonometry states that states that 2 cos theta sine theta is given as sine 2 theta. Yeah, so to prove this, let's pick a value of theta, say 30. So this gives me 2 cos 30 sine 30. And this is sine 2 times 30 gives me 60. I realize that this is root of 2 and this is root of 3 on 2. Therefore, we've been able to confirm that. So what we are going to do is that we are going to replace this whole thing, which is 2 cos theta sine theta by sine 2 theta. Therefore, cos theta plus sine theta 
is equal to square root of 1 plus sine 2 theta. Thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you.